Good evening, everyone. My name is Tianyu Siku, and I'm the Managing and Executive Director of the PO York Chapter. Uh, our guest for tonight is Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Yeah. Thanks a lot for joining the event for tonight. And then you did a great job uh, for the event that we, that we held last, last year in November. The purpose of the event you know, uh, was to encourage newcomers to overcome their challenges throughout successful story from the guest speakers. So your story was highly rated. So and I decided to do an interview with you to just to recap your story. And then, I, and then later on the story will be posted on the PO Yacht Chapter website and social media to provide you the opportunity for newcomer to listen to your story. So <clears throat> let's start. So uh, I got a few questions for you. First, what was your background? Can you please just reintroduce yourself to everybody? Yes, I hope the questions are easy and not, not hard questions. So, I, my name is Alessandro, Alessandro Pellerita. I am an environmental scientist at uh, Wood right now. I come from Sicily, which is uh, an island in, uh, in Italy. Uh, you have to imagine uh, a lot of palms, a lot of sea, a lot of cannoli and gelato. And this is where I was born and raised and I lived for 40 years. Uh, I get my qualification as a chemist and, and I work in, for the Ministry of Environment as a, as a director of UNIT. Uh, then uh, with my wife Claudia and my children Lorenzo and Maya, 10 years ago we moved to Canada. That is uh, in summary my story. Yeah, uh, thanks, thanks a lot. So I think everybody has a reason to move to somewhere else. Can you please tell me the reason why you decided to move to Canada? Yeah, because I cannot swim. So <laughs> what's the point to stay in an island if we, <laughs> if we cannot swim? That was one of the reasons. And then, as you say, uh, different people has a different uh, reason. Uh, I was thinking about uh, Henry and Meghan that uh, they, they left their, their charge as a prince and princess of Sussex to, to come to Canada. For me, it was, uh, besides the swimming thing, it was uh, because uh, of the values that are in this country are uh, the values that I want to continue teaching to my children and live happy living these values. Okay, I see. So, any expectation before you arrived in Canada? Uh, I, I thought I was a superstar before coming to Canada. So. Uh, because of the qualification that I had and the, the nice work that, that I had, that me and my wife, we both had, uh, I thought that um, Canada was uh, prepared to hire me immediately. Um, of course, I was wrong because uh, you need to prove still who you are, uh, even if uh, back home I already was settled here. I, I needed to, to, to show who I was. So, yeah, it was a bit difficult. I, I see. So, any impression you have when you first arrived in Canada? Uh, yes, I, I remember it was, uh, it was January and it was uh, very white. Uh, I, I remember that uh, a, a challenge was uh, uh, to uh, learn how to not use my left leg while I was driving. In, I remember the first 10 kilometers driving I had uh, about 20 near miss because uh, I was uh, used to uh, drive a standard car and so you use your left leg to, with the clutch, full pedal uh, uh, to, the, to the clutch and so uh, <laughs> uh, touching with the left leg I was touching the brake. So every time that I feel that the, the car had a too high the number of RPM, I will try to uh, switch gear, but gear, but it, instead I was pushing in the brake. So I get my face very close to the <laughs> window a couple of times. That was my first impression. I see. Yeah. How, how, how about people that you met at the beginning? Oh, that that was that was a, that is still one of my best. Uh, uh, Memories because the, the, the people was always really kind and uh, available to to help. Um, 
of course, for, for, for some reason, Italian people are uh, uh, easy to talk to. So I was always asked about uh, the reason why I came and uh, uh, some of the famous Italian things, uh, such as Ferrari, pasta, I start to talk always about that. And then uh, I, I, it was a good opportunity to, 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 to build a network and to be helped by the people in Italy. I see. So, do you, did you have any challenges when you arrived in Canada? I, I know some uh, people they like when they move to one place to another place, they always have some. Because their cultures are different, their food are different, and then yeah. So, what were the challenges you had? Yeah, the, you you need to you need to recreate your uh, comfort uh, place in in a, in a in a place that really you are not familiar with. So. Uh, a, a challenge was to understand uh, what is the best place where to buy the food, um, the, the, how to orient in the, in the city. Uh, because uh, wh where I come from, you know that uh, a certain place is close to the church, for instance, or is close to a big monument, right? While here is more north, south, east, west, and I, I, I never used the compass before. So that, that, that was something different and uh, a first challenge. Of course, then uh, there was the uh, network, uh, professional and personal network and the family is far. So it, it, it's like a new start. So it's exciting because it's a new start, but there are also some, some challenges because uh, uh, you, you, you need to understand again who you are and how to do the more easy thing. So, do you have any plan to advance your career in the future? Yes, I understand that uh, there is this place as a Prince of Sussex that is available now. So, my short-term uh, period uh, project is to apply to become Prince of Sussex. Uh, if I cannot uh, reach this goal, I am uh, an engineering in training, so I'm pursuing the uh, license in engineering and with wood, I would like to become uh, project manager and eventually an uh, uh, environmental engineer. That, that is my short term goal, yeah. Yeah. if I am not a prince. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you can achieve your goal soon. So last questions, do you have any recommendations for newcomers? Yes, uh, the, the first is if you can, try to drive a car with standard grip. And so you can avoid those near miss or or, or tie your leg, your left leg, so you don't use it when you drive. Um, and, and another suggestion that I may have, although I, 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 I am nobody to give suggestion, but uh, I, I think that uh, um, here people want to help, so I, I suggest to reach out to any mentoring program or uh, bridging program that allow the transition in a smooth way, and also, to be patient because uh, it may be difficult, but this is a country that will have a lot of opportunities uh, and is well uh, equipped to help us uh, to get um, set again in the new home. That's excellent. Thanks a lot for your time today. Thank you. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure your, your story will help people and help newcomers to overcome their challenges to give them some light to advance their career or to get, yeah, to overcome all their challenges. And then I'm looking forward to seeing you more often in the chapters. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Ciao. Thank you.